Welcome back to Tech Tinker, the show where we turn gadgets into something unexpected. Today, we're diving into a tiny disposable vape that's actually running a web server. Yeah, it sounds wild, but trust me, this little chip can host a full website. Let's break down how Bogdan Ionescu pulled this off and what it means for embedded hacking. First up, the hardware. The vape contains an ARM Cortex M0 Plus from PUA called a PUI32F002B. That's 24 MHz, 24 KB of flash, and only 3 KB of RAM. Tiny, but not useless. Bogdan found the chip by opening up a few vapes he'd collected over the years. He noticed a PUIA label and used PIOCD to confirm the flash size. The extra flash pointed him to the DIVO02B variant, which is a bit more capable than the DIVO02A. So we have a small MCU with USB-C app. How do you get it online? By exploiting semi-hosting. Semi-hosting lets the debugger act like an OS for syscalls. Bogdan set up PyOCD to forward those calls over Telnet. Then he used SoCat to link that Telnet port to a virtual serial device. Finally, Linux's Slathatch turned that serial line into a slip modem. Slip serial line internet protocol is the old school way of sending IP packets over a serial link. It works because most USB serial devices emulate dial-up modems. Once you have a virtual T-tie, Slathatch creates an interface that can carry TCP slash IP traffic. With networking in place, Bogdan needed an IP stack for the M0+. Plus. He chose UIP, a tiny stack originally written for 8- and 16-bit CPUs. But ARM has strict alignment rules, so he had to tweak UIP's checksum code. He also restructured the file system generator script in Perl to keep data aligned. That was his first real Perl project. Funny how a language you'd never used before can solve this problem. After porting, he bundled a minimal HTTP server that UIP ships with. Initially, performance was awful. 1.5 seconds per ping and a 20-second page load. The bottleneck? Reading and writing one byte at a time over semi-hosting. Bogdan added ring buffers to batch reads from the host. He also split writes into chunks, which reduces the overhead of escaping bytes and slip. With those changes, ping latency dropped to about 20 ms, no packet loss. Page loads went from over 20 seconds to roughly 160 milliseconds. That's impressive given only three KB of RAM and a flash limit. In fact, the firmware uses just under 21% of flash and about 45% of RAM. The final product can serve static pages like this very blog post and even expose a JSON API. That API reports how many times the main page has been requested since the last crash, plus the device's unique ID. All the source lives on GitHub under semi-host imp. If you're curious to build your own vape server, check out the repo and start hacking. So what does this mean for hobbyists? It shows that even a disposable device can become a tiny web host. With semi-hosting, slip, and a lightweight stack, you're only limited by your imagination and your three kibby of RAMT. That's all for today's episode. Thanks for listening to Tech Tinker Keep Tinkering, and we'll see you next time!